Hey guys, thank you so much for tuning into Shooting Gear Reviews, straight up guns and gear reviews. Today I'm bringing out the Rex P again. This is my 357 Rex P. Got my ATN Excite 4K on the top there. And I wanna get this thing ready to do some serious pesting here on the ranch. So what's that mean I need to do with it? That means I need to make it quiet. So today's video isn't really about this guy right here. It's actually about these, these things. I'm so stoked. Thank you so much, Don EFL, for sending out BAM, the Emperor, and BAM, the Ronin. We're gonna test these things out today, guys. We're gonna see how much more quiet can I make my Rex P. We're gonna see, do these right here improve the accuracy? I'm thinking probably. Usually a moderator will at least make some change to the accuracy, so we're gonna find all of that out. So. Cool thing about what Donnie sends out is he sends this new sort of end cap that screws in to your Rex. So it comes with a thread cover and that's pretty awesome. So if you wanna run it without the moderator, it's really easy. You just throw that thread cover back on there and your rifle looks legit again. So obviously we've got the Ronin right there. Pretty cool. The advantage kind of to run in the Ronin is just a little more compact and would probably fit down in the backpack maybe a little easier, but really, if you wanna go for the ultimate in quietness, this is your guy right here, the Emperor. And this, of course, they both just go on the same. Screw right on there to that end cap provided, of course, by Donnie FL. Very awesome, thank you, Donnie. And bam. Now we've got the super, super quiet version of the Rex P. So just how quiet, just how accurate, that's what we're gonna go find out right now. Let's go see. Hmm. All right, so here is what we did with the groups there. This is my first group right here. And oddly enough, I actually had the thing sighted in for uh, the moderators. So when I pulled the moderators off, the point of impact, it dropped to there. I mean, it was, it was as you saw from these other first couple of shots when I was using the moderators there, I mean, it was right on target. And then oddly enough, like I say, when I took it off, I was aimed here, you know, you're watching the video and the point of impact was all the way down here. So you air gun scientists can tell me what's causing that to happen. But the other thing I noticed is that here we've got the group with the Ronin and then here is the group with the Emperor. And I'm gonna say that obviously the Emperor is really given the best accuracy, obviously making it the most quiet but it's really amazing to me to see how much of a difference in accuracy it really can make. Even the Ronin, to me, seemed like it improved the consistency of uh, the, the point of impact there. I mean, that, that just seems better th to me than this. This is just the raw, raw Rex P Ronin, and now we've got the Emperor down there, which I'm gonna say I'm pretty stoked with that Emperor results. All right, wow, that was awesome. I am so stoked with those results. This thing, I hope it comes across at least a little bit in the video. It makes this thing so much quieter. Without this on here, literally, this thing is, I mean, this thing is loud. It's got a definite bark. You add 
this guy on there and it takes it from a loud bark to like a, a thwap. You had this guy on there and now we're talking like a thoop. So we've got a bark, a thwap, and a thoop. I hope that, I don't know if that's a good way to communicate that, but guys, this makes this thing so quiet. This is totally worth it just for the quietness alone. But you saw the accuracy change that it made. I'm gonna say better accuracy, quieter. This is sort of like a must have if you're looking at the Rex P. Um, you know, obviously I've got my Rex P sort of set up as the ultimate Rex P with the longer bottle here. I know that over at Aircon Pro Shop, they are working on some solutions to help you guys out if you're looking to do something similar to this. So get in touch with those guys if this looks awesome to you. And of course, you know how to look up Don EFL if you are looking for that setup there. But that's it for today. Stay tuned. I'm going to be taking this thing out and doing some pesting with it here on the ranch. And you guys will have to be looking for that in a future video. I'm outdoors having a whole lot of fun with my air guns. I hope that you guys are too. See you next time.